Century modern design is as popular now as when it was first created. Might be more popular now. I have to admit, I'm a bit obsessed with it. Matt and I were both going through this new book, yeah. like, oh, I'd like to live here. I'd like to live <laughs> here. Uh, this book has an expert and illustrated guide through Minnesota's mid century style, and the author is a renowned architecture critic and historian here in Minnesota, Larry Mellon, and we're so happy to have Larry with us now on Mid-Morning. Congrats on the book, first thank of all. Thank you, thank you. It's absolutely beautiful. The photos are stunning, but it's the stories behind these homes that I think, I don't know, do you think it's the architecture that draws people to it, or is the story part of it? Well, when, in my books, at least, I always try to tell the story with the architecture, and houses in particular always have great stories behind them, and many of the buildings do, too, in terms of how they were developed. and you know, how they came to be. Is there any unifying characteristic when you say mid-century modern? Is there, I, I, I often see these big, beautiful windows <laughs> on a lot of these homes. Is there something like that that kind of is a through line? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a style that uh, includes uh, typically a lot of glass, open floor plans, uh, sort of a horizontal look. Um, but it's also, you know, a highly varied style, so you get a full range of uh, different types. And of in the book, you focus on residential uh, houses as well, but there's also furniture in there. There's also yeah. uh, there's a temple in there, churches, and also the churches, churches yeah. all yeah. sorts of different architecture that maybe at the time when these houses first went up, were people excited about the architecture or, or skeptical? Oh, they were excited, especially in the high style houses uh, that you see. Um, people were, I mean, they they made a conscious decision. They wanted a house in this style. They like the openness, the freedom, the flexibility of the houses. Mm -hmm. It was all part of the deal. Just paging through some of your book, I, I see, I live in South Minneapolis, so I see quite a few of these homes. But it's interesting, some of the businesses as well, there's Dairy Queens kind of built in. The, the, were, was there that beautiful Roseville yeah, Dairy I know, Queen. Yeah. I love that. I know, it's my favorite too. Yeah, I mean, roadside architecture really came into its own in the 1950s um, because of the prevalence of cars, the cars and uh, sure. suburban culture that was developing and so have a little bit of that. We never had the kind of wild roadside architecture that you had in California, but mm -hmm. we had some good stuff. Why do you think that furniture has made a bit of a comeback as well? I mean, I I'm obsessed with it also, <laughs> and I look at it now, I'm like, okay, it's kind of that Mad Men look. I mean, is there anything with that culture uh, impact? I, I think it's it's partly that. I think things tend to skip a generation. Uh, you know, one generation gets tired of something, but the a new generation comes along. Sure looks back and says, hey, that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. And it was a great era for furniture. It was a, probably the outstanding era of furniture design in American history. Minnesota is kind of an interesting place for that with Blue Dot here yes. and Room and Board and both of those and companies. And the Rapson line of furniture Absolutely, here. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, quite so there, a history. Yeah, there, there was some that came out of here. We weren't a big furniture center, but um, it's really a big part of the mid-century look is the furniture. All right, and just to speak directly to my wife here, Larry, I, I've been trying to buy this furniture exclusively for my home. She says it's too modern. How would you answer that? <laughs> well, I, I don't think it's too modern. Tell I mean, her 60 it, years old. 60 Thank you. years there old. You Some of these buildings are now on the National Register of Historic Places, so it has become an historic style, but it's a very modern historic style. Uh, have you been surprised at the resurgence of this style of architecture? A little bit. I mean, uh, when I started this book uh, quite a few years ago, I, I thought it was just beginning, you know, that people were starting sure. to see it again, but um, it has definitely been a tremendous resurgence. Well, the book is called Minnesota Modern. It is available everywhere right now. A wonderful uh, coffee table book. And Larry, Absolutely. thanks so much for coming on. We Thank appreciate you. it. Yep.